this, you're stronger than that. They say Billy Hope can't make it. They say. Two, 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 Una, were you at all intimidated meeting Jake Gyllenhaal? I was. I was, I was like a little. <laughs> but a little. A little. It was. It was very. It was very cool meeting him. Um, it was a little nerve wracking because he's like so experienced and like he. No, like really, he's so experienced <laughs> that's, that's, and he knows so also much. That's cool. old. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What does it take to fight back when life throws you a knockout punch? Southpaw beautifully portrayed the life of a boxer who came across an unbelievable challenge. So, is the journey worth it? It's a talent-packed movie, to be honest. Directed by Antoine Fikua and featuring stars like Jake Gyllenhaal, Rachel McAdams, and Forrest Whitaker, this movie packs a punch with its raw emotion and intense action. This movie is great, and many think you should watch it without knowing too much about it. Many viewers have shared their thoughts on the movie and the main problem with Southpaw is that it uses every typical thing you'd expect in a boxing movie. It's like the movie has all the usual stuff, the struggling boxer, family issues, the big fight scene, and the training scenes. It feels like a lot of other boxing movies, if you swapped out Jake Gyllenhaal for Sylvester Stallone, you'd get Rocky VII. They're all pretty similar, but like we said, in many other reviews, if a movie leans into its cliches, it can still be enjoyable. When a movie knows how to use cliches well, and it's acted and directed with passion, it can be really good. Southpaw is one of the best acted movies we've seen in 2015. Jake Gyllenhaal's performance, like in Prisoners and Nightcrawler, really impressed me. In Southpaw, Jake Gyllenhaal shows he's a top-notch actor. He gets into his character, not just with his body, but with how intense he is in the ring and how well he brings out the drama. The actor who plays his daughter in the movie also impressed me, especially the young girl. She's so good, she deserves a nomination for Best Supporting Actress, too. Her performance was amazing. She never seemed like she was just a cute kid acting. She was actually convincing. And the young girl in the movie didn't even seem like she was acting. She was believable and passionate. She deserves a lot of praise for her excellent performance. Rachel McAdams and Forrest Whitaker also do some of their best work in this movie. Whitaker is especially great as someone who helps Hall's character. Forrest Whitaker carefully trains Hall's character to get him back on track. Even though the movie has a lot of familiar parts, you can guess how they'll fit together. We were still interested because of how much effort Antoine Fuquia put into directing it. He made it feel very raw and real. In Southpaw, the world feels tough and harsh. Sometimes the drama hits you hard, almost like getting punched, but it's not a bad thing. It makes you feel the struggles the main character faces. The movie isn't too emotional or overly dramatic, at least not in my opinion. It feels genuine. On the positive side, we were really happy with how they filmed the boxing matches, and we thought it might all be shaking hard to follow, but it was done well. The filming was great. They used wide shots in slow motion that made you feel like you were right in the moment. They had this cool trick where it felt like you were the boxer, with Gyllenhaal or his opponent punching toward the camera, making you flinch. The camera would sway and dodge like a boxer, making it feel super real. You could practically feel the sweat and blood of the boxer as he took hits. This guy's got family issues and probably money troubles too. He's going to train hard and fight to overcome his problems. You'll root for him and care about him. That's what every boxing movie is about. I mean, it's like going to a Star Wars movie and complaining about too many space battles. Like, these are the things you'd expect to see in a movie like this. And you just have to go along with it because that's how these stories go. The movie's great because Gyllenhaal and Fakua put so much effort into acting and directing it, we liked it, and we really got into the story. If you are looking for a movie to watch this weekend, we highly suggest checking out Southpaw if you can. Now, we will give you a sneak peek into its plot, so you'll be good to know what you expect from the movie in general. Billy the Great Hope is a really good boxer who hasn't lost any fights yet. He lives in New York City with his wife Maureen and their daughter Layla. In one of his matches at Madison Square Garden, Billy gets hurt badly but still wins, keeping his title as the champion in the light heavyweight division. And when reporters come to talk to Billy, another boxer called Miguel challenges him. Maureen worries about Billy and wants him to stop boxing. She only talks to Billy's manager, Jordan, who doesn't like his idea of Billy signing a contract for more fights. Billy and Maureen go to a fancy party to raise money. Billy talks and thanks Maureen, Layla, Jordan, and his friends. Miguel is also there and he starts a fight by insulting Maureen and threatening to take Billy's titles. A gun goes off, Miguel's brother Hector fired it, and Maureen gets shot and dies in Billy's arms. After that, Billy starts drinking and doing drugs. His manager Jordan says they should sell the house to fix their money issues. Jordan sets up a fight for Billy against Khalil Ture. Billy gets hurt badly in the fight and his team throws in the towel. Because of all the hits to his head, Billy can't see properly and accidentally hits the referee. 
He gets suspended for a year, loses his income, and has to pay money to the referee and TV networks. He loses his house and stuff too. Both Jordan and his trainer, Eli, leave him to work with Miguel. One night, Billy crashes his car into a tree near his house. His daughter Layla finds him bleeding and calls for help. Billy wakes up in the hospital and finds out that Layla is being taken care of by Child Protective Services. With nowhere else to run, Billy goes to Will's gym. There, he meets Tick Wills, who is a former boxer who can't see well because of an injury. Billy asks Tick to help him get better, but Tick knows about Billy's drug issues and says no to training him. Instead, he offers Billy a job cleaning up the gym. Billy goes to see his daughter Layla with Angela, but Layla blames them for their problems and doesn't want to see him. So, Billy starts working as a cleaner at the gym. He becomes friends with a boy named Hoppy, who also wants to be a boxer. Billy finds out that Hoppy's dad hurts his mom and tells Tick about it. As Billy tries to fix things in his life, he keeps visiting Layla, and eventually she agrees to see him. And after winning a charity match, Billy's old manager, Jordan, shows up. He manages Miguel now, who's the new champion. Also, Jordan wants Billy and Miguel to fight each other in just six weeks, knowing Billy won't have enough time to train. But Billy thinks he can do it and asks Tick to train him. But Tick says no because he thinks Billy just wants revenge. Later, Tick tells Billy that Hoppy died while trying to protect his mom from his dad, who shot him. Tick feels sad that he couldn't save Hoppy and agrees to help train Billy for the fight. Seeing that Billy is trying to change for the better, the judge allows him to take care of Layla again, and she comes back to live with him. When they visit Maureen's grave, Billy tells Layla that he's going to fight again, and he lets her come to watch as she wants. On the night of the first fight, Angela brings Layla to the dressing room to watch it on TV. At first, Miguel is winning. They both keep hitting each other hard round after round, but then Miguel says something mean about Maureen, and Billy gets mad and loses focus. He almost stops the fight because of his anger. Tick warns Billy not to let Miguel control him. Billy calms down, and in the last round, he starts doing better than Miguel. In the final moments, Billy blocks one of Miguel's punches and hits him hard in the face. Then he changes his stance and delivers a powerful uppercut, knocking Miguel down. Miguel manages to get up just before the end and both teams' staff are tense. Even though the judges couldn't agree, the final score was 344 to 341, with Billy winning by three points. Billy was declared the new champion. He then falls in his corner, thanking Maureen and promising to take care of Layla. Tick and the team lift him, and he closes his eyes with tears of joy. After the fight, Layla joins Billy in the dressing room, and they hug for the first time since Maureen died. Billy says Maureen would be so proud of her, and Layla tells him that she loves him. So, all of you did feel the joy of watching a feel-good movie, right? Even though the movie has a cliché plot or storyline, it's still worth watching. So, what are you waiting for? Do watch it and let us know if you liked it. Also, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button before you go. Until next time, I'll see you all.